and yesterday was a super fun evening. The Troop 2284 out of Kakana. These Daisy Girl Scouts earned their severe weather badge last night. I helped them there. They made some cloud dough. We talked about what clouds are made of, and then we talked about how when they get heavy, it rains. So we made some rain gauges as well. We're going to have 11 people, little mini me's, reporting the rain that's arriving here tonight. But so much fun teaching them about severe weather. I mean, they saw that tornado and they were amazed. They're like, ah! <laughs> Something I don't think that they'll ever forget. And Caroline, I want you to be a part of that. Oh my goodness. So I brought I'm you excited. some cloud dough. Can I open it? Yes, you can. All right. So, what is in here? I'm going to let her guess first, and then I'll tell you the ingredients well, of it. Well, to me, it, oh. Stick your hands in there. Start squishing really it. Really go after it. Yep, to me, it feels like feta cheese. <laughs> it is baking powder. Oh. And sh uh, shampoo, actually, or conditioner. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So it does smell is, good. It does smell nice. <laughs> it smells delicious, but she's got to work that for a little bit, and eventually it's going to turn into like a Play-Doh, but it's going to be so soft. It's yeah. like a cloud, and it's going to last about a week or two. So oh, maybe I should just keep doing this for the rest of the show. Can you take over from here? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> All right, Caroline, that's awesome. So she's going to make some clouds for us because those clouds are building out there, and they are going to rain on us today. So yesterday, below average once again, but we got a little warmer than I expected. So we'll take that. 49 degrees into Green Bay at Shawano, Oshkosh as well. Hey, it was much better than Monday with a high of 36 degrees. So then we rose 13, but we're still six below our average. That's where we should be right now, but we're not. We're waking up crisp and cool once again. This goes all the way to the East Coast. 41 at Washington, D.C., 37 here into Green Bay. Look at that first light of the day. The sun is up. The clouds are out, unfortunately, and more and more clouds, like I said, building. Caroline's going to add to this, and she's going to cover the sun, unfortunately. It's okay, it's okay. Mother Nature, you know, it's spring, we need the rain. 37 degrees into Appleton right now, overcast out there. Below freezing into the Northwoods and near 40 into the Southern Fox Valley area. Winds right now out of the Southeast at about 15 miles per hour. Not too bad at the moment. It is creating wind chills though of the 20s to low 30s. So that's why I said grab that jacket this morning, especially by this afternoon. Winds are going to get very gusty out of the south up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. That's going to help warm us up, add the moisture, and then of course, as these too low pressures swing at us and hit us, it's going to bring us some steady rain. We're already looking at crazy winds with dry conditions for a fire weather warning into Nebraska, winter storm watches and weather advisories, and winter storm warning for the North Shore of Lake Superior. Another foot of snow, another foot is expected there for them. Winter is not letting go of Lake Superior. A few scattered flurries are flying out there this morning, but the main swath of rain is still off into the Dakotas, pushing into western Minnesota here this morning. And that will be arriving here by this afternoon. So here's what we've got going on. Increasing clouds, scattered sprinkles possible through the morning, and then the showers and the main event starts to move in after 3 o'clock. Mainly from about 6 to 10 is when we're going to see that steady, heavy, dreary rain ongoing where you're going to want the umbrella and the rain boots out there. You could hear a few claps of thunder, but we don't have to worry about any severe weather for today. That's off the table for us. We're looking at about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rainfall, which is, of course, going to add to those rising rivers and the Wolf River is still above that flood stage. Not expected to drop until this weekend. So as we go into tomorrow, I'm really excited for this Thursday, okay? Tomorrow's going to be beautiful. High pressure in place, sunshine. It's going to be windy. Gusts up to near 40 miles per hour. That's the only downfall of tomorrow. But the strong winds are bringing in some warm temperatures. 60s for us tomorrow. Then the heat even builds more as we head into the weekend. I'm talking 70s and 80s possible. South of this warm front, 50s, 60s, just to the north of it. It's going to be a spring battlefield set up right here with storms over the weekend. So today, just that rainfall, mid to upper 40s, windy conditions. We're actually going to stay above freezing overnight tonight first time in a while and then 60s for us tomorrow with those windy conditions out of the west. Drop in temperatures just a few degrees, about average for your Friday. And then as we go into Saturday, that rain might hold off as we hit 75 degrees. I love typing that number into that forecast. And then it's 70 on Sunday before we drop back to average with some sunshine. I think that grass is going to start to get a little bit greener, you guys. Oh, just what we need. I've been <sighs> missing it. I know. I miss the smell of the fresh cut grass, don't you? Me too. Mm -hmm. Brittany, thank you. You're welcome.